Okay, hello everyone. Thank you for joining on this another live stream today. So this is the 25th of April and this is on Sunday. Um, you see the angle is a di di bit different. I changed the camera location from over here to this way so that this is like the uh, you know horizontal in the camera angle. So yeah, I feel different now. So that's good. Let's get started. Let me squeeze my face. Okay, so yeah, so welcome everyone once again on this live stream today. So time flies, we're towards the end of the April already. And we're going to into May. And looks like the market has been ranging at the moment. It's flat in the daily chart. So um, we'll be reviewing the weekly chart and uh, see which way the market is trending, ranging on these forex pairs and gold US oil and also indexes. And then in the end, um, I will be reviewing the news for next week. So thank you for joining everyone. Good to see you. I see many comments here again. Let's see. But Karim and Joel, Abestiani and Asif, thank you for joining. Good to see you again. Sasentran, good to see you also. And Christopher and Steve, CG, Aditya, good to see you everyone. Thank you for joining. So let me start. Just a quick disclaimer, this information today is basically based on my own understanding experience. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk management. Okay, so let's talk about some markets based on the weekly charts. So every weekend I check the weekly charts and every month end I check the monthly charts and every day end I check the daily charts because these are the timings when these time frame candlesticks close. So that's why every Sunday I cover the weekly market so that you know the rough sketch of what the markets happen at the moment. All right, hello Vu, thank you for joining. Good to see you from Vietnam. Thank you for joining here. So first of all, the Euro USD. Euro USD on the weekly time frame is flat. We have Kumo flat, Senkospan B is up. So in the long term, this is uptrending. But in the midterm, short term, this is flat still in the weekly time frame. But the Chikou spun above the candles, and this is bullish. So the market can still go up on the bullish in wave like this way. In the forward chart, it's uptrending. If, if I can just quickly look at the forward chart, this is uptrend. So we can follow the uptrend. But weekly chart, this is still ranging. So we can retrace backwards anytime soon. Um, so we can follow the forward chart uptrend next week. It's my opinion on this Euro data here. All right. Hello, Stefan. Thank you for joining from Kenya. Good to see you. So, uh, so next, let, let me cover the Euro AUD. Uh, Euro AUD is flat, or this is more of the downtrend at the moment. The Kumo is down, Senko Span B down, A down, and Kijun Sen down, and Chikou Span below the candles. So for the couple of last weeks, it's been ranging, retracing, but overall, this is still downtrending. So we can go down on this reversing wave, this way. So daily chart or forward chart, we might see downtrend next week. So we can prepare to look for the sell chance next week. And that is a Euro AUD. And moving on to Euro Pound, this is now flat in the weekly time frame. We have Kumo flat, Senko Span B flat, Ace flat also, Kijun Sen flat. And the market is now retracing backwards and the price is in between the Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen. So it's a huge retracement at the moment, so the market can go up until the Kijun Sen on the weekly chart. So if you see lower time frame trends and uptrend, then you can follow it. But as for weekly time frame, this is ranging. 
so the price can retrace backwards downwards anytime soon <clears throat> so we cannot follow the weekly on the euro pound at the moment Lokwok, thank you for joining and Jagadish, good to see you here Sanjay, thank you for joining and Jai, good to see you too yeah, we're gonna cover the dollar JPY in a minute so let me cover from the top on this watch list so next one is Euro JPY let me cover the Euro pairs first and then we're gonna move on to USD pairs so here's Euro JPY on the weekly time frame which is uptrending because we got the Kumo up, Senko Span BA up, and Kijun Sen up, and Chikol Span above the candles, and also Tenkan Sen is pointing upwards too. So this is uptrending, and this is nice uptrend. So we can look for the buy chance on lower time frames. So if I look at the daily chart, this is still flat, but because weekly chart is uptrending, we expect the market goes up and breaks the previous resistance line it can break in between 130.69 and 130.42 level it can go upwards continuously so um, let me just mark this one as this is a nice uptrend on the weekly time frame and let me move on to the EUROCAD a euro cat on the weekly chart is flat at the moment because the Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. So it's retracing backwards, but in the weekly time frame it's flat. It's ranging and no trends. And Euro Swiss Fran is also flat in the weekly time frame. Kijun Sen exactly flat. But looks like the market has been supported by the Tenkan Sen. So it can still go up in this momentum here. So um, let's move on to the USD pairs. So here is USD JPY. And uh, USD JPY in the weekly time frame, this is flat right now. The market is retracing for the last three weeks. And Kumo flat and very tiny. And Kijun Sen completely flat. And Chikol Span retracing backwards also. So this is in the, still in the range in the weekly time frame. We cannot say this up. This is uptrending on the weekly chart. So in lower time frames, this is downtrending. So let's say in the daily chart, uh, this is reversing backwards. We had the uh, Tenkan Kijun dead cross, Chikospan breakout. So next week, Kumo breakout might be happening, and if it happens, it can continuously be downtrend. But when the market is in the Kumo in the daily chart. It might be spiky, so I will advise you to avoid taking trades within, within the Kumo here. So, but this is an unstable downtrend, so I think it's gonna break the Kumo downwards next week. So that's the USDJPY. Hello Emeka and Trun and Jamie, good to see you, thank you for joining. So the next one is Dara Swiss Run on the weekly time frame. Um, yeah, this is flat right now. The Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Chikol Span touching. So it's range, no trends. And Dara Cad is also, this is now flat. Uh, the Kumo's Senko Span B is down, but Senko Span A is flat, Kijun Sen flat. So this is flat. But one thing is that the market has been resisted by the Tenkan Sen on this weekly time frame. So it can gradually go down still. If you look at the candlesticks patterns here, um, there are wicks up and downwards. So this is a very tricky and spiky market. So um, I would avoid taking trades on this pair because it's too spiky. Um, and if you look at the daily chart, because the weekly time frame shows it's gradually downtrending on this weekly time frame also it can go down still on this uh, sorry on the daily chart uh, this is gradually moving down as well so the Kumo is about to be twisted bullish but you better wait for the Kumo to be down 
and Kijun Sen to be down and Chikou Span should be above, sorry, away from the candles downwards and then we can look for the sell chance then. As weekly chart is downtrending, we can look for the sell chance on this one. But one thing once again is that this is too spiky. You see many wicks up and downwards. So this is like the fishbone and you might get stopped out many times. So this should be a low priority to take trace. So that's the uh, dollar CAD. So let's move on to some pound pairs. And on the weekly chart pound, uh, USD, this is flat now, it's ranging. The Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Chikou Span getting closer to the candles. So this is ranging and no trends. In lower time frames, there are no trends. So I would be staying away on this pair. So, um, so next one is pound JPY. Ankara, yeah, I will, co I will cover the bank nifty. Yep, yeah. um, let me put the reminder here uh, on this. Uh, I will just put it in the index here, bank nifty is here. So I will cover this one later on. Hello, Ankara and Roy. Thank you for joining. Good to see you. And Steven, good to see you too. Thank you for joining as well. Okay, so uh, yeah, uh, so next one, pound JPY. Pound JPY is also flat right now. It's flat ranging, the, but the long term is uptrending because the Kumo is sloping up still. So in, in the long term, this is uptrending. But Kijun Sen flat, so the price can retrace backwards to Kijun Sen on this weekly time frame. So the point here on the weekly time frame is that whether the market is going to be supported by the uh, Tenkan Sen or not. If it's going to be supported, then it can continue to go up and break the previous high at this 153.35 level. Otherwise, it might retrace backwards to the Kijun Sen. So this is exactly at the Kijun Sen right now. Uh, this is slightly breaking the Kijun Sen downwards. So uh, we better wait for the next week candlestick close. And if it closes above the Tenkan Sen, then it can still be uptrending. Otherwise, it can go downwards to Kumo or Kijun Sen. And when you see Kijun Sen flat like this on any time frames, the market can be spiky ups and downs, so you will see lower time frames spiky market in this condition. Okay, um, Mashes, uh, thank you for joining. Good to see you. And Ankara, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, and Rustalan, good to see you. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to everyone. Thank you for joining on this relaxing Sunday. So let's move on to the pound AUD. Yeah, pound AUD is flat right now. It's Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat the whole time. The Chikou Span also flat, so we don't look at this chart. And pound CAD is also flat, like pancake, so no trend and no trace. And also, um, the next one is the uh, Pound Swiss Fran. Pound Swiss Fran is now retracing backwards and broke the Kijun Sen, sorry, Tenkan Sen downwards now. But the Kumo is up still, so this is bullish in the long term. But the Kijun Sen flat, so the price can retrace backwards to Kijun Sen. So in this one too, um, I will wait for the candlestick closes above the Tenkan Sen and look for buy chance, otherwise it can retrace backwards to Kijun Sen. And in lower time frames, um, in daily chart is flat. Here is a daily chart, Swiss run. Um, yeah, it's flat ranging. And in 4, this is also flat ranging. Yeah, in the beginning of April, it was downtrending, but now it's ranging. So there is no trend and no trace. So let's move on to the um, AUD pairs based on the weekly chart. Oh, thank you, Ruslan, for 
reminder for the like button. So if you liked that today's live stream, please press the good button and please sub subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these lives and videos every day on my YouTube channel. So here is AUD USD on the weekly time frame. Now it's ranging Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Chikou span getting closer to the candles. So this is ranging. So next week, what can happen is that uh, we might see a head and shoulders on weekly chart. At this moment, I won't say that this is an head and shoulders still because this is still forming. This is range to me. This is still range. But once the neckline break happens, neckline in this case is at this level near this uh, 0 0.7562 if the market breaks the neckline then finally that will become the head and shoulders but until it happens until neckline and also Kijun Sen breakout happens the market will still go up it can still be in a range or it can still go up like this way because the price is above the Kijun Sen and Kumo and Chikou Span technically above the candles, so this is still bullish momentum. So, in this case, um, I will just stay away. Once the neckline Kijun Sen breakout happens, then I will start to look for the sell chance in lower time frames. And once the breakout happens above, upwards, then I will simply look for the buy chance. But until either one happens, I will just hold it. On this weekly time frame um, yeah yeah this is purely ranging so I will just stay away in this condition so moving on to the AUD CAD pair this is also flat ranging Chikou span is very close so this this can be uh, the range it can uh, go go up and down in the long term. Last week was Doji candlestick, so there is no trend at this moment. And um, AUD JPY, AUD JPY on the weekly time frame, this is um, gradually moving up, and this is above the Tenkan Sen, so this is still bullish to me. The the Kumo is up, both the Senko Span B and A up. And the Kijun Sen flat, but Tenkan Sen up, and Chikou Span still above the candles, so this is bullish. The market might be supported by the Tenkan Sen and goes up this way. And in lower time frame on the daily chart, on this uh, daily time frame, um, like I mentioned on on my um, trading view account a couple of days ago. Um, yeah, let's see. let me put this one up here. I've mentioned about this um, AUD uh, JPY. I think it was a couple of days ago. So here is my um, new uh, trading view account. I've created this about uh, three months ago, and uh, if you if you scroll down a little bit, uh, you can find my analysis on AUD JPY. And I have seen this is in the bullish in the wave, the bullish um, P wave, ascending P wave, and I'm still expecting a breakout. And now it's retracing backwards. Uh, this was posted on the 19th of April, and now if I can forward from 19th, uh, 16th, 19th of April, this is still uh, down, down trending, but I still see support last day uh, um, on the last Friday it was supported and goes up this day so um, in that sense I still expect the market breaks upwards upper resistance line so until in this way in this case too until the trend line or neckline breakout happens in this case neckline will be below the wick over here 82.27 until the neckline break happens, this is uptrend to me. And I don't think that this is an 
the head and shoulders yet. Not yet. But as soon as I see the neckline and also in this case Senko Span B breakout happens on the daily chart, then I will start to look for the sell chance. Otherwise, I continuously look for the buy chance on this AUD JPY. So let me shift the screen, sorry, a bit like this so that you can see the whole screen like this. Okay. Okay, um, let's see. Nasser, thank you for joining from Sweden. Good to see you. Vu says, uh, why don't you see indeed pairs? Um, New Zealand pairs are volatile in lower time frames and usually the spread are higher. The spread is higher and that's why I don't usually look at these New Zealand pairs. Um, Murugarajan, thank you for joining. Good to see you in Danish. Thank you for joining from UK. Good to see you as always. Thank you for joining. Alright, Thanapol and Kuwan. Ajay, good to see you. Aditya says, um, uh, Mr. K, when you're using Chikol Spam breakout, is it better to use retrace? Uh, is it better to use recent high or alert after? Um, Chikol Spam breakout can be uh, with the candles. So if I can just cover quickly about the Chikol Spam break, um, this will be the Chikol Spam break. Exactly when the Chikol Span uh, takes away from the candles, this is the Chikol Span breakout. Before that, it was overlapping. You know, Chikol Span overlaps with the candles, which is kind of a unique feature. Chikol Span overlaps. So, um, I would say that this part was a breakout, but afterwards, the Chikol Span gets into the candles, and this is where, uh, where the Chikol Span gets away afterwards. So these were the two timings of that Chikol Span breakout, I would say. Yeah, if the Chikol Span is too close like this, it acts like a magnet to the previous candles. It just stick to the previous candles and traces the past candles. Like uh, it was here. So breakout happens after the Chikospan gets away from the candles. Okay, so let me cover the rest of the pairs uh, on the weekly time frame. So let's cover the AUD Swiss franc next. So AUD Swiss franc is now um, uptrending. Um, so let me turn it to purple. So um, yeah, we have the Senkospan B up, A up and Kijun Sen now pointing upwards and a Chikol Span above the candles so this is too bullish and I look at the daily chart and in the daily chart it looks like the market has been resisted by this descending trend line and once it breaks I expect the market goes up this way so basically I'm waiting for the breakout next week so that's the AUD CHF so let me cover the CAD pairs. Cat JPY on the weekly time frame. This is now um, retracing, supported by the Tenkan Sen, so it can go up next week. Um, the Kumo is still up, bullish. Kijun Sen flat, but the price itself is above the Tenkan Kijun Kumo and Chikou Span above the candles, so this is bullish. So, um, and let's look at the CAD CHF. This is also bullish because the price is above the Tenkan Sen on the weekly time frame. So it can be supported and goes up for us. But once the Tenkan Sen break out next week, then um, it might retrace backwards to the Kijun Sen. So you don't want to look for the buy chance anymore. And let's move on to Swiss front JPY. Swiss front JPY is range. This is Kuma flat, Kijun Sen flat. And I see the market has been ranging the whole time and there is no trend and no trace. So that covers the whole Forex pairs on my watch list. 
Um, let's see, Alexandre, thank you for joining. Good to see you here. And Jamie says, um, Hi Kay, if you get chance later on, please uh, could you have a look at the cotton chart. I'm looking for the buy, but uh, Kumo has twisted yet. And uh, Chikou Span broke price at the same time as the Kumo breakout. Yeah, let me cover the cotton uh, when, when I cover, cover the commodity um, very soon. Yes. Yeah, Dylan and Henry Dinesh, once again, thank you for joining. Good to see you. And Noel and um, Raymond, good to see you too. Yeah, uh, we're going to cover the gold next one. So let's go for it. Let's cover the commodities. And let's start from the gold. So the gold on the weekly time frame, this is now ranging. Obviously the Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. And the price is exactly in the Kumo now. And this is the Doji candlestick. You know, Doji means um, at the same time in Japanese. So, or, 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 so that means, you know, the start price and close price is at the same price level and that means it's a doji candlestick and this is a typical doji candlestick from like a textbook and this is a sign of the range so we can see we can see that last week was range on the gold and the price is exactly in the kumo now so this is a very difficult to capture which way it's going and if i can look at the daily chart this is also in the Kumo now. But one thing is that the price is in the Kumo, but I expect the market breaks above the uh, Senko Span B next week because we had the uh, Tenkan Kijun Gold Cross and Chikou Span breakout over here. So once we have the Kumo breakout, that will become a Sanyaku Koten signal and it can be a continuous uptrend afterwards. So um, we have to be patient here until the Kumo breakout happens on daily chart and look for the buy chance afterwards, it's my opinion. Now it's better to stay away because price is exactly in that Kumo on the daily chart and also the weekly time frame. Hello Kailash, thank you for joining, to see you here. Um, I wanted it says, uh, please show how to get entries. I watched everything, still can figure when to enter my trades. Um, you can find some of my entry examples on the uh, on the previous uh, videos. You can you can come to my website from the link below the description, and scroll down, and you can find some of my entry examples on this Fraxista four. You can simply click on this one or um, you can find it on my uh, KTS strategy. And when I take trades um, in future lives, then I will also show my positions and also I will explain how I took these buys and sells in the future. Right now I have no positions, so there's nothing I can show right now. Yeah, Jamie, you're welcome. And hello, Mr. Fernandes. Thank you for joining. Good to see you here. And also, uh, yeah, I see lots of people coming in now. Good to see you, Ahmed and um, Shanti. Good to see you. So, um, yeah, so coming back to gold, now it's ranging, but this is on the end wave. This is on the bullish end wave. So it can continuously go up on this bullish wave, like in this case. And this is uh, something that I touched uh, about, about it on the Ichimoku membership live last week. But um, you can also capture time cycles here on the gold. Um, briefly explaining here, um, if you're familiar with the Ichimoku theories, time theory, wave theory, and also price theory, um, I can see that time cycles in 9 or 10 bars in between the highs and lows. So starting from this uh, 8th of March, it was I wave uptrend for the 9 bars and 10 bars bearish and 9 bars on the V wave and now this is on the 8 bars 
uptrend. And last Friday was retracement. But because this is the uptrending, and uh, if the market breaks the Kumo upwards, then it can reach all the way to the next high, somewhere between the 3rd of May and the 4th of May, due to this time cycle. And this price level, uh, this uh, 1749, sorry, uh, 1794.07 is the V target as per Ichimoku th price theory. So um, looks like the market reacted by the V target and retracing backwards now. It was happening last Wednesday and Thursday. So uh, yeah, but still this is uptrending. I expect the market breaks the Kumo next week. But until it happens, we have to wait. Because within the Kumo, like I mentioned before, if you see a market in the Kumo, it's like the airplane in the storm and it can spiky, it can be spiky. So it can go down still, it can go down for next couple of days and it might break the Kumo upwards where it's flat like this. That's possible too. So uh, we better be extra careful in this condition. So, uh, yeah, and let's see. And let me cover the, uh, the crude oil for now. Yep, so this is pretty much uh, flat right now. On the weekly time frame, this is also flat. Uh, Kumo's up, but Kijun Sen flat, Tenkan Sen flat, and price is ranging now. So it can retrace backwards to the Kijun Sen, and there is no trend at the moment on this weekly time frame. Yeah, I think this is just ranging at the moment, so there is nothing that we can we can do right now at the moment. I think, um, yeah, uh, oil. I think um, oil has been ranging the whole time for the last couple of months here. So this is still, yeah, there is no timing for entry chance after. The COVID outbreak is spiked all the way down and up, and now it's ranging. So we have to see, we have to wait and see for the next uptrend to come and look for the buy chance then. Okay, and let me cover the cotton, and I think cotton is the um, um, NM NMX. I never see cotton chat before, so. Let me see if we can put up the correct market. Let's see. Um, looks like I cannot find it like that. If you know uh, what the symbol is for the cotton, please let me know by the comment. Then I can have a look at it too. So um, let me cover the indexes. Next, indexes on the weekly time frame. Um, so, first, let me touch Nikkei as I am a Japanese trader. Nikkei index is now ranging. Um, the Kumo is single span B's up, so in the long term, this is uptrending, but the short to mid term, this is ranging as the Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen shows it's ranging and flat. And the Chikou span is getting closer to the candles, so this is pretty much in the range. I think um, this is in the P wave. If you see the daily chart, this is in the P wave. And it's about to break the Kumo downwards again. So this is more of the bearish side than bullish side in this condition. So let's move on to um, Dow Jones. And weekly chart is now flat. We have the Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. The market has been resisted at this uh, 34,264. And now we have this engulfing candle inside bar. So better to wait for that level, breakout, 
and look for the by chance afterwards. Otherwise, it might come back first to the Tenkan Sen. The market has been supported by the Tenkan Sen a couple of times in the past. This was a nice support, and this one was a bit overshoot, but we can say that the market pushed back up above the Tenkan Sen after the support. So, um, as long as the market is above the Tenkan Sen on the weekly time frame, this is still uptrend. Um, yeah, basically this is uptrending, so after the breakout, we can look for the buy chance on this one. Otherwise, it's still consolidating, retracing. And let's move on to um, Nasdaq 100. Nasdaq is flat right now. Uh, on the long term, this is uptrending. We have the Kumo, Senko Span B is up, but the uh, the uh, Kijun Sen flat and Tenkan Sen flat. So we better wait for the, uh, the Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen move up. Sorry, Kijun Sen move up and look for the buy chance afterwards. And as per as an, <coughs> I'm sorry. Let me uh, drink the water. Sorry, it's been kind of dry right now. So uh, sorry about that. I need to drink um, water here. Oh, cotton is um, CT. Okay, okay. L let me uh, search CT after I cover these indexes. Thank you for letting me know. So um, yeah, so let's cover the S&P and this is, last week was Doji Candlestick. It's, it was ranging week last week, obviously. So simply we better wait for the breakout of the previous high at this 41.93 and look for the buy chance afterwards. Otherwise, in this case too, the Kijun Sen flat, Tenkan Sen flat, so the price can retrace back first to the Tenkan Sen next week. So we have to be precise on these Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen angles. When you see this flat, then the market might retrace backwards, so this is not the best timing to look for buy chance. Along with this Doji candlestick last week. So let's cover the Euro stocks here. Um, Euro stocks also ranging now. It's uh, Kumo flat, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen flat. So basically the same thing as the US stock market. It might retrace backwards to the Kijun Sen next week. So to be safer, uh, you better wait for the breakout of the previous high at this uh, 40552. And let's move on to uh, FTSE 100. On the weekly basis, this is also flat. Looks like last week has been retracing on these stock markets. So better wait for the breakout once again at this uh, 7035 level. And yep, I have covered the uh, yeah I've covered the gold. Um, so uh, yeah, gold is in the range on the weekly chart and daily chart. It's in the Kumo, so better to wait for the Kumo breakout on the daily chart is my suggestion on gold. So um, yeah, here's CAC France. CAC France is uptrending still. We have the Kumo up. Kijun Sen pointing upwards, Tenkan Sen pointing upwards too, and Chikou Span above the candles. So as compared with other US stock markets, Euro stocks, this one is uptrend. So last week was bearish. Last week was bearish candlestick, but we have this uh, pin bar, I mean this uh, pin wick pointing downwards, and um, this uh, bearish wick is longer than the bullish week. So this is the sign of the uptrend still. So we can still see that the buyers are still in the market than sellers. So we can go up next week. So that's the CAC France index on the weekly chart. So yeah, I'm gonna cover the Nifty now, Brown. So here is a Nifty chart. The Bitcoin, I will cover it later on. After the index, I will cover cotton and the Bitcoin. So please bear with me. 
couple more minutes. So here's Nifty on the weekly chart. Looks like it's gradually moving down. And this is very difficult to capture which way it's going. We have these uh, three consecutive doji candlesticks last week for the last three weeks, where Kumo's flat, Kijun Sen flat. So this is no trend and no trace. And if you look at the daily chart, you see that the price is now on this uh, bearish flag. And so I would wait until the market breaks the previous week high at this um, 14689. If it breaks, then it might go up to the upper level. But still, this is still within the range. So, yeah, I would wait for the breakout of this uh, of this channel and look for the buy chance afterwards. Now this is ranging, retracing gradually, and this is not the good timing for any entry chances. So um, let's see. So let's cover next the Hansen index. <clears throat> Hansen on the weekly time frame, it's ranging also. Uh, we have Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, and uh, the Chiko span gradually getting closer to the candles, so this is ranging. As per price action too, it's ranging. Weak and downwards, it's spiky market, and better to avoid taking trades on this one. So let's cover the next one, the AU200. This one is also retracing backwards now because the Kumo flat, but in the long term, this is uptrending because the Senko Span B is up. So the market has been sort of supported by the Tenkan Sen on the weekly chart, and but Kijun Sen flat, Tenkan Sen flat, so it might retrace backwards to the Kijun, uh, sorry, Tenkan Sen initially next week. So, um, yeah, in this case, I don't, I don't think this is a good timing to look for the buy chance. I would wait until the Kijun Sen points upwards next week and look for buy chance afterwards. Otherwise, no trace. Um, and also covering the uh, DAX index, this is bullish. This is bullish because the Kumo is up still, the Senko Span A is up, Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen both upwards and Chikol span above the candles. And we have this outside bar. We've got this outside bar. So the best time for entry is after the break of the 15.501. After the breakout, what will be a buy chance? So let's cover the uh, DAX, uh, sorry. This is um, DXY currency. US currency is it's ranging. So in terms of that, it's still no trend on this um, dollar index. So let me cover the bank nifty. I know there are a lot of uh, traders from India here. So let me cover the bank nifty as well. Um, on the weekly basis, the price is now retracing backwards to the Kijun Sen here. So um, the price, the, the, the Kumo flat, Senko Span A is retracing backwards, Kijun Sen flat at the moment, and Chiko Span gradually getting closer to the candles, so it's retracing backwards. Um, for the recent two weeks has been support by this uh, Kijun Sen, so it might go up from here. But if you see the Kijun Sen breakout next week, then you don't want to look for buy chance anymore. So whether the Kijun Sen breakout happens next week on the weekly chart is a key on Bank Nifty. And briefly touching the daily time frame, daily chart is now bearish. You can see that the single span A is down and Kumo itself is bearish. After the twist, it's been bearish Kumo. And the Kijun Sen pointing downwards, Chikou Span below the candles, and the market has been resisted by the Tenkan Sen a couple of times in the past. So we can we have to expect the, some uh, continuous bearish trend to happen next week. 
so if you can sell the market then i think this is a good timing to sell but if you cannot sell then do nothing will be my answer yeah and since the kijun sen uh, on the weekly chart is on this level um it might be bounced by this kijun sen and support and it might go up afterwards next week but this is where the buyers and sellers fight against with each other so better to stay away in my opinion so that's the bank nifty chart on the daily time frame so let me cover the uh the cotton let me search the city and see if we can find oh there we go I think we can just uh, pick uh, let's see yeah I think we can just pick the first one okay so here is the cotton features on the weekly time frame um, let's see so it's always exciting to see something that we never see before so here is the cotton on the weekly time frame we have the Kumo Senko Span bees up so in the long term this is bullish and Kumo itself is still bullish and the price is above the Kijun Sen but Kijun Sen flat Tenkan Sen flat so it looks like the market is in the range now one thing though is that the uh, I think uh, here we have we had the previous two weeks backwards there was a doji candlestick exactly on this one was doji so I would wait for the clear doji breakout in this case upwards and we'll look for the buy chance in lower time frames this is my first scenario if I will look for the buy chance yeah doji breakout is very powerful on any time frames I take doji candlestick breakout as uh, one of my entry confirmations in lower time frames but you can still use it in higher time frames too so this is a good timing to buy that's one of them and also uh, on the daily chart let me see okay on the daily chart we have the uh, Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen Gold Cross and Chikou Span breakout is about to happen so once it happens then uh, we can expect the Kumo breakout and this is kind of interesting because the Kumo in this part is very thin so when you have that thin part of the Kumo it can penetrate very easily so if the market grows upwards continuously after the previous doji breakout of this 58.24 on the weekly on the weekly doji was here so um yeah uh, it can break upwards and breaks the kumo upwards then that will become a sonic cotton signal and we can expect the continuous uptrend on this particular market so i think that will be my analysis on this one this can be still a continuous end wave bullish on this in this direction So, uh, so this is the cotton uh, features and let me cover the Bitcoin because I know uh, there are lots of crypto traders here too in this uh, community so let me cover the Bitcoin and then we're gonna cover the, uh, the news for next week so let's see Bitcoin on the weekly time frame first of all this is still uptrending the Kumo is up, Senko Span B is up, A is up and Kijun Sen upwards too so this is too bullish um, and with that in mind, so, so this is bullish so the price can retrace, the price can push back at some point is my view um, perhaps we can draw the trend line like this way and see if the market will be bounced by this trend line 
this is the reversal trend line because the previous resistance is now becoming supports. So it might be reacted by this line and the market might go up from next week. And with that in mind, I look at the daily chart. And as per the daily chart, this is um, right now flat. It's um, about to break the Kumo now. So the Kumo is about to be twisted, so this is bearish. There is no sign of reversal now. One thing though is that I, I find that there is an engulfing inside bar structure here too. So once it breaks upwards, then it can go up continuously based on the following, based on the weekly chart trend. Maybe, but uh, this is downtrending on the daily chart. So even if you see the breakout, it might be not a good time to buy yet. After the breakout of the engulfing, it might be still in a range. It might be still in a range. So um, yeah, in this case, I would I will be patient until the market breaks the Kumo and look for buy chance, is my advice. Yeah, otherwise it might break the trend line and continue to go downwards next week. Yeah. And to be honest, I'm not sure about the fundamentals of the Bitcoin and the news I don't follow. So this is purely based on my technical analysis by Ichimoku and price action. So this is just for your information. I don't trade Bitcoin personally, so yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, David, thank you for joining for the first time. Good to see you and stay gold. Um, David says, um, please, can you tell me the English translation of uh, Tenju Sen? Um, I'm not sure about Tenju Sen. I'm creating an Ichimoku argumentation and have created a new line. Um, yeah, it, it, do, do you mean Tenkan Sen? I know Tenkan Sen, but I'm not sure about a Tenju Sen. Okay, um, Alexandra says, uh, NAT gas, natural gas. All right, let me check that one, the commodity. I don't have it here, so oh, here it is. Yeah, so this is the natural gas and the weekly time frame, it's range in the P wave. First of all, the Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, so it can break towards either direction. It can break the P wave towards either direction, so um, it's hard to tell. And this is the weekly analysis. And as per the daily chart, uh, this is now um, still ranging. Uh, this is, yeah, this is ranging. The Kumo is flat, Kijun Sen flat, Kijun Sen below the Kumo. Um, there was a double bottom and neckline break and looks like this is now uptrending in the short term so we can go up towards the previous high uh, this uh, 3.050 level can be expected um, but there is another previous high level at uh, this at uh, 2.909 so it might be reacted by this level and retrace backwards and retraces backwards to the Senkotsuban B or Kijun Sen at that timing. <clears throat> Mitch says, um, do you ever trade in the Indian stock market? Um, I don't, I don't. I am 100% Forex trader. But after moving to Dubai, I will be trading stock market indexes. But for now, when I'm in Japan, I don't trade stock market indexes because due to time zone, it's been difficult to take trades. I mean US and Euro stock markets.
let's see. Oh, Mr. Fernandez, thank you for the reminder for the like button. So please press the like button before you leave so that it keeps me going. Thank you for the reminder. Okay, so let me cover the news. Let me cover the fundamental news for next week, which are important. They can affect the um, these um, major pairs and minor pairs. So next week starts from the uh, the twenty six up to the thirtieth. So this is the last week of April. Time flies. Time flies. So Monday tomorrow we have the uh, durable goods orders in USD. So you have to watch out the USD can be affected by this news. And on next uh, Tuesday, we have the monetary policy meeting in Japan. So JPY can be affected. And also um, we have um, yeah, BOC uh, in Canada. Uh, there's a um, yeah, Maclem speech here. So Canadian dollars might be affected by that. And moving on to Wednesday, the twenty eighth, we have the uh, we have a couple of CPI and AUD, and also um, a, a ECB uh, president's regular speech and Euro. So Euro pair can be affected by that. And also we have, of course, the FOMC in the US. So this is the big event. So you have to be watching out this one. This is the big event for next week. So if you're holding or if you're looking for any trades on the USD pairs uh, on Wednesday, you have to be careful. So um, so make sure you have the stop loss to break even before you see the news. Otherwise, you have to exit and come back to it afterwards. It's my advice. And on Thursday 29th, we have a uh, couple of news here too. You have Euro CPI. In Germany, sorry, in Germany, there's a CPI report, and also, um, yeah, GDP report in the U.S. So Euro and USD can be affected by this news. And Friday, we have another GDP report in Germany. So Euro can be affected, and also Swiss franc. There is a speech here, so Swiss franc can be affected by this news, and also another CPI. In the euro itself. So your pairs can be affected by this news on Friday. So next week, to make the long story short, uh, you better watch out on the FMC next week on Wednesday in US and also um, on Friday on this uh, Euro uh, CPI report and GDP report. These are the two big events for next week. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, next week or towards the end of April and in the beginning of May, I expect some new trends because if I look at the daily charts, uh, they're about to break the Kumo. Like uh, Euro USD is about to break the Kumo. It's uh, technically above the Kumo now, but after this, it can be trending up. And Euro AUD2, it's about to break the Kumo too. And Euro Pound, this is in that Kumo, but next week it can break the Kumo upwards. So I've seen many pairs, Forex pairs, to be breaking the Kumo in the daily chart. So in that sense, um, if it happens, then uh, it can be a new trend. So I'm just waiting for that to come. Otherwise, I will just stick to follow the forward chart and one hour chart trends. And in these timings, when the market is ranging below daily charts, I become an intraday trader. I cannot be a swing trade because the market, the trend doesn't last that long as usual. So on these timings, I become an intraday. So that means I follow the one hour chart or the forward chart and possibly close the position within the day or two days or so, at the most.
Yeah, I think Kumo breakout will be a topic for next week on these daily charts. Like uh, on this um, data series front too, uh, if the Kumo breakout happens, it can go down very sharply too. So I'm basically waiting for that too. Okay, let's see. Yeah, you're welcome everyone. You're welcome. Thank you for the comments and thank you for the participation as always. Hello Thresh, thank you for joining. Good to see you again. And Eddie, thank you for joining too. Good to see you here. Um, David, uh, yeah, I will search the word Tenju and what it means. Perhaps I can search in Japanese and see what it means. Yeah. Uh, Yuri says, uh, is it safe to focus on one market for all month without watching others? Um, I would recommend you to watch uh, yeah, one pair uh, if you're not still familiar with the Forex pairs. Uh, because uh, when I was a newbie, I used to look at the USDJPY only for one year. And I've mastered the USDJPY. Mastered means like, uh, you know, I have, I get familiar with the USD currency, USDJPY currency pair in terms of uh, what makes the market move and what affects the market in terms of news and what doesn't. In relation to other pairs, and also commodities. So, and once I uh, once I have a good understanding of the USDJPY, and then I expand it to other pairs. I moved on to the Euro pairs, and then I added Pound, and I've added the AUD and Canadian dollars. But if you're still not familiar with one of the currency pair, one of the currencies, then you can focus on one currency. Let's say you can pick up the USD, and in comparison to USD, you can pick up another currency that is familiar with you. For me, I used to live in the Los Angeles, US, and also I grew up in Japan. So uh, USDJPY simply was pretty familiar with me in terms of economy and also what's happening in the market. And that's why I picked that pair. But you can focus on one pair and good understanding, have a good understanding of the pair and you can expand yourself. Like you can take, start to take USD to other currency pair or JPY to other currency pair and you can expand the, uh, the Forex pairs that way. But until then, I recommend you to stick just one currency pair and really have a good understanding of the market situations. Yeah, because I used to watch like 30 pairs or, you know, 35 pairs when I was a scalper in the beginning and without any good understanding of what's happening on these countries, basically I was taking trades by these technical analysis and that was not good actually. Uh, especially these, you know, Swiss francs and also these, uh, you know, pound can be also spiky. Um, so... But when it happened, I didn't know why it happened. And that was a problem. Yeah, so that is my recommendation. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like... Uh, yeah, Onkar, you're welcome. And Jeff, you're welcome too. Alexandre, you're welcome too. Yeah, I will talk about the wave theories uh, in my future lives more often. Yeah, today's for the forex market and commodity and indexes, so I don't really go into the details. But during the day, I will. So uh, you can remind me next week, and I will talk about these strategies. 
and it looks like it's about a time to end the live session. So I will be ending it in about a couple minutes here. So yeah, hello Ken Lee, thank you for joining, to see you here. JP says, uh, so wheat, soy and corn have a steady uptrend in the cloud that should be consistent to harmless long positions. Um, yeah, I would recommend if you take the daily chart and as long as the price above Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Kumo, then it's a stable and strong uptrend. So you can follow the uptrend as long as it goes. There is no reason for exit in these conditions. Yeah. Alright, so I guess I will be ending the live stream for now. So thank you for watching and joining until the end. As always, I really appreciate your participations. So uh, yeah, hopefully next week we capture some trends and hopefully we can ride on these trends. So make sure you look for the trends and you capture it. Otherwise, no trace is a rule. And also watch out for the FMC and also a couple of big news next week as well. So thank you for watching until the end. And um, I will see you in the next one. So please, uh, please, please press the like button before you leave so that it keeps me going every day. So I will see you in the next one. And until then, please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. Bye for now. またね。Thank you.